I have always been sort of a kid and then adult who didn't fit well into um, regular education, regular employment. Um, you know, I was told a lot of the time that I wouldn't amount to much and I wouldn't be able to be successful um, because I wasn't conforming to the way that other programs worked. And then over time I realized that there's a lot more of us, uh, kids like me, than uh, anybody realized. Um, and this has become sort of a lighthouse uh, for kids who are lost uh, out there and haven't found programs that they liked. Liam had a pretty, um, what, what did you say, totally tubular, yeah. is that what it was? Oh, yeah, yeah, a, yeah a totally tubular tic-tac that he did. Now, what if you don't want to be totally tubular, instead be radical? What would you do? We basically approach our students um, in a very different way, where um, kids who come here are usually a little extra. Um, they have extra energy, extra difficulty focusing in other programs. You can use the wall, you can use the vault, you can use you? the air, I guess. If you, that would be very impressive actually. Um, my staff and I, we talk about how our goal is to earn the trust of the student rather than the parent. Um, the parent is secondary to us. Um, if a child is not having fun, they're not gonna listen. They don't need another adult telling them what to do. But in the beginning, it's mostly about making them feel like they've got friends here, like they've got the support to be themselves. It's very rarely a class that we don't have somebody who really struggles. <laughs> now that was totally radical. <laughs> The Island of Misfit Toys. When we had students come in here and found a home and found a place that they could be themselves and still thrive rather than it being a weakness, um, that name, Island of Misfit Toys, sort of stuck and it's sort of a private, I, won't, I don't want to say joke, but a private source of pride um, that these students can have that and we can all kind of band together in that way. These classes are really fun because they really help me get my physical uh, physique in check and they make a very good social experience because I get to talk to people and I met some really amazing people here. I came here a week after they opened and I was immediately enthralled with all the vaults and all the jumping around and then I started coming here. I really love getting to learn like all of the stuff that you see in movies and like all the comic books where you get to like jump off walls and throw vaults and it's it's really cool to think that I could be like an actor one day and I would be able to do my own stunts. We've had students who are telling us how proud of themselves they are when only a few months prior they were physically striking themselves out of frustration. Um, it's, it's enough, I mean there's lots of tears with the instructors behind closed doors too because we're just, we're so proud of it and it's, it's, it's moving. Um, and it can be a bit overwhelming but it's, uh, it's overwhelming in the best possible ways. A kid who might be all smiles one day might be tears the next, um, and we have to be constantly reevaluating our approaches um, because what worked for them last week might not work this week. Um, so the biggest thing is just being sensitive to the fact that kids don't want to be bad, kids don't actually want to misbehave, they don't want to get in trouble. So when we started to focus our um, curriculum around that mindset and to know that we could potentially find a place where these students not only can come and train and have fun, but also start to believe in themselves. Um, and uh, especially a group that's been overlooked for so long because we've been focused on medicating them and how to deal with them and how their problems can be uh, you know, catered to to make them fit um, you know, within this square hole of a system when they are a round peg. It's, uh, my goal is to actually reach as many of them as humanly possible. So we've got a lot of, a lot of work ahead.